we want to solve the inequality and then express the solution using inequality notation, using a graph, and also using interval notation. We solve a linear inequality just like we solve an equation, except if we multiply or divide by a negative, we must reverse the inequality symbol. So looking at the given inequality, notice how we have x terms on both sides of the inequality. To solve for x, we need the x terms on one side. So as our first step, let's add 4x to both sides of the inequality. Negative 5x plus 4x is negative 1x, or just negative x. So we have negative x minus 12 less than negative 11. And now we want to isolate the x term on the left side. So we want to undo this minus 12. So let's go ahead and add 12 to both sides of the inequality. So we have negative x, and then this is negative 12 plus 12 is 0. So we have negative x is less than negative 11 plus 12 is equal to positive 1. Now here we have negative x is less than 1. We can think of this as negative 1x is less than 1. So to solve for x, we either need to multiply both sides by negative 1 or divide both sides by negative 1. Either case, we'll have to reverse the inequality symbol. So if we divide both sides by negative 1, the inequality symbol is going to be reversed. So instead of less than, it'll be greater than. And here we have negative 1 divided by negative 1, which simplifies to just 1x or x. 1 divided by negative 1 is equal to negative 1. So our solution as an inequality is x is greater than negative 1. So we'll enter that here. x is greater than negative 1. And now we want to graph this interval. Notice the interval is x is greater than negative 1. So negative 1 is not in this interval because negative 1 is not greater than negative 1. To indicate this using points, we use an open point rather than a closed point. To do this, we click on the open dot and click on negative 1. If the interval did include negative 1, we'd use a closed point or closed dot. And now because x is greater than negative 1, we graph to the right using the align segment tool. So this is one way to graph our solution. Another way, instead of using open and closed points, would be to use parentheses or square brackets. An open parenthesis is used when the endpoint is not included. A square bracket is used when the endpoint is included. So notice here, the endpoint is not included. So we'd place a rounded parenthesis opening to the right on the number line on negative 1, like this. And then again, we graph to the right. So these are two ways to express the same interval. Before we discuss interval notation, though, Notice as we move right on the number line, we do approach positive infinity. This is helpful for the interval notation. Using interval notation, we have the interval from negative 1 and then approaching positive infinity. But on the left, it does not include the endpoint of negative 1, so we use a rounded parenthesis. If it did include negative 1, again, we'd use a square bracket. And then for positive and negative infinity, we always use a rounded parenthesis. And as I mentioned before, we can access the infinity symbol from the keyboard using two lowercase o's, or we can find the infinity symbol using our equation tool. In either case, it is important to use the preview buttons to view how the homework system interprets your entries. I hope this was helpful.